So at the moment, I am knitting a shoulder panel that involves short rows. So as you can see here, one side has more length than the other, and that is achieved using short rows. Of course, you can use short rows for the back of the neck sweater, so the, front, the back sits higher uh, than the front, so that your sweater isn't choking you. It's all the same technique. I'm going to be doing German short rows. I have done a few others, but these are my favorite. They're easy and you can hardly, I, we can't really even tell they're in the work, so you can't see them. So I'm going to be working across a little bit of the row, a bit more, a bit more, and doing turns. So I'll show you what a German short row looks like. So I've just joined my yarn to work this first row. I'm doing double moss stitch, so I'm just doing knit one, purl one. And we're going to be doing the turn after four stitches. So this is my fourth stitch here that I'm just purling. And this is what you need to do when you're doing a turn. So we're going to be turning the work over. That's step number one. And then bringing the yarn to the front in between the needles. So you can see I've got the yarn at the front there. If I just zoom in. And we're going to be slipping that first stitch purlwise from the left hand needle to the right hand needle. Just quickly show that again, left hand to the right hand pearl wise. Now we're pulling our working yarn to the back. So if you have a look there, that's one stitch, but it distorts into two legs. So it almost looks like there's two stitches on the needle there, but there's not, there's just the one stitch. So then you just knit back to the end of the row, which is only three stitches for us, as per your pattern. So my next stitch is a pearl. So if you can see there, I have to pull that yarn to the front again because we still need those two legs on that stitch. And then I'm going back to a knit stitch and then back to a pearl stitch. And that's as easy as it is. So you turn your work and if you have to do another short row, you do another short row or you just knit across whatever your pattern dictates. I'm going to work the next row and I'm going to show you what happens when we get up to that stitch where we distorted it to look like two stitches, the two legs. So I'm just going to knit up to that stitch as per normal in whatever pattern. So I'm up to the stitch where we turn. So you can see we've got the two legs there. Do not knit them separately. You'll end up with an extra stitch and your stitch count will be wrong we want to knit them together. So my next stitch was a knit stitch. So I'm knitting through there. Sorry, I was looking through the camera. Uh, just a normal knit stitch. And there you go. We've kind of closed that gap up. There won't be a hole or anything like that. You won't be able to see that you've actually turned your work. And my, my pattern that I'm doing here, I have to now knit four stitches past that turned stitch. So one more stitch and I'll just show you that German short row again. So I've knitted where I want to turn. I'll turn the work. The yarn is in front. It was actually already in front anyway. Slip that over pearl wise, distort those, that stitch, pull the working yarn to the back. And I think my next stitch here is a knit stitch according to the pattern. And I've already got that yarn at the back. So I'll just be popping my needle in and knitting that as per normal. And then we've done another German short row. And yeah, you just got to keep a lookout for those double looking stitch stitches when you, you're knitting and you want to knit them together. Don't kind of mindlessly knit and accidentally knit them separately. It's probably the part where you could go wrong very easily, I think. And you can see there that we've got extra stitches compared to the rest of the needle and you can start to see it kind of take shape into a slant, which is what we want with this pattern. When I finished all my short rows, this is what it looks like. 